Hello everybody, welcome back to a new manga haul video. Woo woo. Oh my god, I sounded so enthusiastic. <laughs> Here's a bit of lore, but I typically film my videos very early in the morning, which is why I always sound sleepy. But today, I've been awake for about an hour and a half. So I feel a little bit more energized than usual today. But anyways like i said i have a manga haul video for you guys today i have a couple of box sets yes i said a couple and then i have a right stuff package also my neighbors are awake now too so you guys will probably hear them in the background <laughs> but the first box set i had unboxed it in a previous video so if you guys want to go check that out i'll leave a card i don't know here but i'm still going to show it in this video very quickly and that is the quintessential quintuplets that's a bit of a tongue twister <laughs> and a look at this box set it's absolutely gorgeous there you go sorry for the glare but i can't really do anything about it and let me show you the volumes really quickly i'm not going to show the poster because it's going to be out of frame of the camera and i don't want to struggle with it let me put this to the side here's the first volume or oh, the seventh I'm gonna go backwards I don't know too much about the story all I know it's about this guy who I think he's broke at the moment so he decides to tutor these siblings who happen to be rich and they each one by one start falling for him I think that's the premise of the story <laughs> my dog is snoring again But yeah, I think that is the premise of the story. I'm not sure, but we will find out. I know there's a second box set already that you can pre-order. I haven't done it yet, but I do plan on doing it. On pre-ordering it, I mean. Alright, so that is seven volumes of the quintessential quintuplets. Okay, let me put the last volume away so I can move on to the next box set. Oy. There we go. Now, this next box set is a shonen. Drum roll, please. I got recommended this. Yes, guys, I got Seven Deadly Sins. Let me move that out of the way. So, I actually don't know what this series is about. All I know is that it is a shonen. And then let's just do a quick turnaround before I open it. Ooh, who's this? So I mentioned this in a previous video, but I actually have a bias for characters who have white or silver hair. So this character might end up being my favorite one. <laughs> All right, let's open this bad boy. Oh, and by the way, I got both this box set and the quintessential quintuplets one from Amazon. I don't know if they still have it in stock though, because I did pre-order both of these. Okay, all right, let's take out the volumes. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let me move this. And let me show you this poster really quickly because this one does fit in frame, I think. Ooh, and then we have another silver hair character here. Maybe she might be my favorite character. We'll see. It's just them two. Oh, let me move this. And then we have this one, which I guess this is the gang. Is there a backside? Oh, there it is. Ban. Ban or Bon? Alright, so those are the two posters. Let's get to the volumes. Alright, let's show these volumes really quickly because my camera is about to die. Are we even surprised at this point? <laughs> Here's volume one. Let's show a little bit of the art. 
Ooh. Two. Three. Whoa. Maybe he will be my favorite character. <laughs> Four. These characters look so cute. Oh, she's so pretty. This is so cute. I don't know what this is. Is it like a little piggy? It's so cute. And she's so pretty. She looks so badass here. And then here is the seventh volume. That's the last volume of the box set. We'll see. I think I will end up liking it though. It is shonen after all. And then the last one in here. Oh, there we go. Seven Deadly Sins. All right, and then I have an Amazon pickup here. Ugh, let me see if I could open this. Okay, I think I somehow got it. Let's see. All right, I got it. Here we go. And we got Blue Flag Volume 2. I'm slowly but surely collecting this series. Oh my god, guys, my mom just scared me. She knocked on my window and I was like, who's knocking? Because <laughs> because it's not a passage where people typically walk. So I was like, who's there? <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm slowly but surely collecting this series. I think there's only eight volumes of this series, if I'm not mistaken. And I did like the ending. <laughs> okay guys, so this is actually the next morning, so if I don't sound as enthusiastic as yesterday, it's because I woke up about 30 minutes ago. But I need to finish filming this. Yesterday, my camera ended up dying. <laughs> but today we have, uh, the Bright Stuff package. So let's just open that right now. Okay, so the first volume I have from this package is volume 3 of Erase and I can't believe I finally have this volume. It took forever to come. This was the last volume I was missing. There's only five volumes and I had the other four. I was just missing this one. I ordered this back in April of 2021. Guys, that's almost a year ago. <laughs> but I'm happy I finally have it. And I know some people have its issues with the ending of this series. I personally liked it. Um, and I really love this series. I introduced this series to my sister and my brother and they also ended up liking this series a lot and crying So it must be doing something right <laughs> Yeah, volume three. I don't want to open it because I don't want to give out spoilers. So We're gonna put this to the side right here and we're gonna move on to the next series I got Oh, and I almost forgot to mention I am reading Kei Samba's other work which is called For the Kid I Saw in My Dreams it's also really good. So if you were a fan of this series, I would recommend you to read that series as well. Okay, now moving on to the next series. All right, so the next series I have is A Man and His Cat. I'm gonna be honest, I only picked up this series because this cat reminds me of Nyanko Sensei from Not Too Many Book of Friends, which is one of my favorite series ever. So I had to kind of pick it up. <laughs> I don't actually know what this series is about, but I'm guessing is as the title implies that it's about a man and his cat and their daily routine or daily life. Basically a slice of life, which is right up my alley. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this series. And let me just show you a little bit of the art. <laughs> the art is so cute. Ugh, of course, there's a helicopter coming right now. Oh, the cat is actually cute. Oh, all right. So that's the first volume. All right. And then here is the second volume. The colors of this volume are very aesthetically pleasing. 
<laughs> they look so cute too. Oh, the pillows are cat shaped. <laughs> I can already tell I am gonna like this series. And I also got this, um, here's volume three. And I also got this, I guess, package or deal back when Right Stuff was having its sale. I don't remember when it was. It was either in November or December. I'm pretty sure it was November though. Oh, I just realized he's playing the piano. We love a good pianist in the room. Here's volume four. <laughs> I don't know why, but this cat is just <laughs> a derpy face. <laughs> so funny. All right, so those were four volumes of A Man and His Cat. And then I'm going to move on to the next series. Okay, so I have a couple volumes for Noragami. I saw the anime for it and I liked it enough to pick up some volumes. So they're going to be a little bit out of order. <laughs> Here's volume one. Two. Oh, this one's a little bit more of a matte style than that one in this volume over here. I don't particularly have a favorite character. I do like the main trio, but I don't think I would favor one over the other. Well, maybe maybe I do favor Yuki or Yukine a little bit more than the other two. But I will be honest, I did not like him when um, I started the series. I He was my least favorite character, but he did grow on me. So I guess if I did have to have a favorite character, it would probably be him. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes in the manga. These volumes are so pretty. And I think these are also some more volumes from Norogami. Yep. Here is a volume 4. I also really like her. I think she's so hilarious. <laughs> Volume 5. Oy, is it focusing? I think it's. And Volume 16. The covers for Noragami are so beautiful. Hold up, let me show you. Let me show you the one. I'll say that probably this one is my favorite cover. It's so pretty. And this one as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for my right stuff package. Alright, so this package is from Yen Press. And this is my final box set. And it's really heavy and really big. <laughs> I couldn't find a better place to film this, so... I'm filming it on the floor. <sighs> okay, I was seriously struggling taking this out of its packaging. It's so heavy. I didn't imagine it was going to be this heavy, but I finally have the box set of Pandora's box or Pandora box. Um, and then here is the inside. Let me move it a little bit. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the volumes. I'm not even going to show you all of it. You guys, there are better videos of unboxings of this box set. Go watch them. <laughs> and then that's just the art that's inside. I don't know anything about this series, um, but it's always been recommended to me. If I could just... <laughs> Alright, we have... The first volume right there, it's in pristine condition. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Let me see. There we go. Oh, and then and let me show you a little bit of the art. Wow, just look at that. Ooh, who's this? Oh, we do have some color pages here.
All right, that was just some of the art. All right, there we go. And now I'm gonna go put this somewhere in my room. 